All right, three man fly shark Kim Panic here. Overbank tendency, fixed wing aircraft. Overbank tendency, scene one, take one. All right, start three minute time. So we like using visual aids. Again, I talked to you about resources and it's a Bible, right? It's our flight instructor, uh, flying Bible. Everything's in there. And one of the things they got in there is a, is a diagram. So we're gonna use illustrations. I'm, I'm, I'm finding out that illustrations are good. So there's a record. Remember we talked about record player and turning and being on the record. There's the record. That's page 64. If you have the book, I don't know what page is and whatever it is, but they're gonna have that picture in there. So <clears throat> the overbank tendency means just that. Now I did describe overbank tendency in the turns and stalls. And always remember the stall is an exceedance of the critical angle of attack. Now you say, you know, um, who caused that? You know, who caused it to stall? Well, you did. You did. You're flying the airplane. You're in control of the airplane. Now, assuming the wings are still on it, right? You're causing uh, the stalls. And that's good, okay? Because you're causing them to demonstrate to your instructor. You're causing them to demonstrate to your DPE, your examiner. You're, you're causing a stall about six inches above the runway to land it, right? So it's good that you know about stalls and you can cause them. The only part where it ain't no good is when... You catch you by surprise, you're tired, saturated, and all of a sudden start shaking. That shouldn't happen. Shouldn't happen if you're training, you know what's going on. So this overback tendency, the reason I want to bring that up is because i got some fly students, and, and I'm noticing they're a little timid on the on the turns and stuff like that. And I, I said, look at the body position, and uh, and what they say is uh, the tendency uh, when, 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 when the airplane is in a shallow bank. Now, you know you can cause going up there one time with a flight instructor and just use your rudders. Just kick a little bit of right rudder and the maneuver speed, and you'll see that wing will dip and can turn, and you can actually turn the plane with rudder only in shallow, shallow turns. Now, in the shallow turn, it ain't got no tendency to kind of go start overbanking because the wing speed differences on the record player are just very minimal, very minimal speed differences. But when you start yanking and banking, when you start yanking and banking, and you start turning and maintaining altitude, you know, and on that record player, right? Now you start getting in 40, you start getting that speed increase on that outer wing that starts to want to pull it on over. So now that's an overbank tendency. So one of the little shallow banks in 10 degrees, whatever, you know, you kick the rudder, you do a little bit, it, it, it just sit there and it'll turn for you all the time. But now when you start getting that higher thing, it's going to start trying to turn more. And now you need the aileron pressure to keep it from overbanking. That's the key. You want to keep it from overbanking because you're trying to hold that bank in your demonstration, right? Okay, so... Remember, in the shallow banks, the speed difference on the record player is so little, it'll just sit there and turn a little easy. You turn it, you turn it with rudder, and you start getting into bigger ones, you're gonna need to control that so it don't overbank on you. All right, three minute flying instructor, gonna sign off. Ta-ta, blue skies. Keep the blue side up and the brown side down on that attitude indicator, you're all right.